Nick Fuentes is a far-right extremist known primarily for two things. His explicit advocacy for white nationalism and, well, this. You're welcome for that. Now, I'm going to share a video of Nick Fuentes that is honestly arguably worse than the video of him literally eating a booger during a live stream. In this video, he's going to sit down for an interview with The Blaze TV and he's going to be speaking with Sidney Watson. And one of the things that he's going to share is his views on women in the world and what he believes their role should be in society. And brace yourselves. This is a nuclear take. Do you, do you want to get married? Yeah, I want to get married. But more out of necessity of like having producing a male heir is really the the whole point. You know, at least for me, it's sort of like a pride thing. Like I want to produce a male heir to take on my name, take on my legacy and all that. And, uh, you know, marriage is sort of pursuant to that goal. But, you know, I don't know about this whole prospect of like, living with a woman for the rest of my life like you know it sounds good at first it sounds like kind of fun or interesting you don't have to do laundry you know you don't have to worry about kind of taking care of the house but you know then the prospect of just like it goes on and on and on and it's decade <laughs> after decade after decade and you know I, I don't know how thrilled i am with that with that whole idea do you respect women of course but you just don't want them to have any rights well, i didn't say that I okay. didn't say they shouldn't have rights. But if I'm understanding your question correctly, if you don't want them to vote or drive or, or have an existence akin to what they would have in, say, Saudi Arabia, you would say that in large part, then they don't really have rights. Well, I would say probably the ideal is something more like Afghanistan, if I'm being totally honest. Like re and, recent, so what, what's the recent difference between Afghanistan, Afghanistan <laughs> then and Saudi Arabia? Like the brutality, I guess. It's like a little slightly more brutal. Of course, Taliban rule, not not American rule. I'm talking about, you know, recent, recent so Afghanistan. So you want women to have the same treatment as women have under Taliban rule in Afghanistan. Something approximating that, okay. yeah. So the Taliban is what he's striving to achieve here in the United States. Now, if you think that that's crazy, throughout the course of this interview, I watched not all of it, but a lot of it. He shares a lot of hot takes. He basically explicitly supports authoritarianism. He's not necessarily in favor of voting generally speaking he kind of thinks that only property owners should be voting there's so much in there and it's just i have to think that his parents failed at raising him to raise someone who at this young age has so many deluded beliefs there something went wrong there right but you kind of get a sense as to why he at least feels the way he feels about women given a particular fact about him that i'm sure you're not going to be surprised to learn so Sidney Watson is going to ask him if he's had any prior experience with women, and his answer isn't surprising. But the conversation, the dialogue <laughs> that follows that is honestly so cringeworthy, it's so potent that it's almost lethal. I mean, I dare say from my understanding of many of your viewpoints, you also promote like the way of interacting with women, and I go, have you been in a relationship with a woman? No. So how are you telling other people how to behave towards women when you yourself have not had any actual physical, you know, interaction with them in a romantic capacity or, in fact, in any capacity where you, you know, uphold them in a way that treats them with respect? I mean, if, if you're out here arguing that women are basically half the value of, well, you know, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, in fact, because that's not right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you are looking to some other regimes around the world that do think that women are half the value of a man, I have to question what kind of a person who's had no experience with women is in a position to, to you know, basically promote these ideas well i'm having an experience with a woman right now <laughs> and i've had lots of experiences with women in my life not not romantically per se but you know I've, I've talked to enough women i've been in you know i've known enough women to know sort of what's going on and i think any man who is observant enough and honestly you know like i said we could go back to great geniuses we could go back to people that have been in relationships like a perfect example is like the pickup artists you know if you ever notice that pickup artists who have the most relationships with women and the most sex they what they say is that really with women it's the same bag of tricks uh to seduce a woman or whatever and i think that kind of tells you something about the nature of women that you know you go from woman to woman and it's the same kind of like little tricks little things you could say or whatever to kind of hack them and whatever and i think that kind of says it all about their nature so i just goddamn i don't know what the fuck to say i am 
speechless. That's... <sighs> My mind is blown. When he said, like when they were discussing his virginity and he said, well, I'm kind of having an experience with a woman right now. I kid you not. I wanted to jump out of my skin. That was almost too much for me to bear. I, I couldn't take it. That was so cringeworthy that it it's something that no human should have to experience. It's a level of secondhand embarrassment that I didn't think was possible. That was, wow, that was insufferable. That was too much. So I, I don't even know how to react to that. I, I've got to say, I, for one, am not very shocked that the booger-eating Nazi is also an incel. It's just... And then he goes on. Like, he keeps talking. And as he keeps talking, it keeps getting worse. He cites pickup artists as his insight into the world of women and the way that they think. You're citing pickup artists. You're talking about your virginity. I can't... This is this is almost too much for any human being to tolerate. It, it, it just it's too much. Now, the problem isn't necessarily that he is a virgin and you know he hasn't had much luck with women. That isn't necessarily the issue. It doesn't make you inherently inferior. It doesn't make you you know a bad person if you are a virgin at the age of twenty three. That, that's not the issue. The problem is you, Nick Fuentes. The reason why you are a virgin, the reason why you have no experience with women is because of your ass-backward beliefs. I mean, what he's saying, this might be almost too controversial in like the 1950s, in the Leave it to Beaver era. That's how insane what he's saying is. I mean, you, you talk about how you want women to, you know, have as much rights as about, you know, not necessarily Saudi Arabia, but the Taliban. And uh, then, you know, he's seemingly surprised when people question if he's a virgin. You're a virgin of your own making. What woman is going to want to be with a man who thinks that they should have as much rights as women in Saudi Arabia? Where they're not even second-class citizens, they're third-class citizens. Women in Saudi Arabia just got the right to drive like a couple of years ago. And he's citing Saudi Arabia and the Taliban as one of his inspirations, what he wants here. I mean, okay, that's your opinion, but that opinion, that weird, bizarre view of the world is going to lead to you perpetually being a virgin because I hate to break it to you, no woman is going to want to fuck you with that weird belief system that you have. And also you ate a booger on television or on your live stream, so you already have that going against you. It's almost like he, he wants to be in this position. He wants to be an incel because he's doing everything in his power to make that the case, right? Like if I if I wanted to get my driver's license, weird analogy, but bear with me. If I wanted to get my driver's license, but during the driver's exam, I intentionally swerved and I drove over a curb and I almost hit multiple pedestrians and I didn't do this unintentionally. I did this uh, on purpose. Then I think, okay, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm not getting my driver's license because of my own making. making maybe I'm doing things that are too stupid that I know is hurting me. And that's kind of like similar here with him. He is an incel because of his own making. Again, like if you are a virgin, I don't want you to think that you're a terrible person. Many people have social issues and it's just, it's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. But if you are presumably hating women because you're a virgin, it's not them, it's you, Nick. Maybe stop listening to pickup artists. Stop going to marches like the one in Charlottesville that you went to in 2017. Stop being a fucking Nazi and maybe you'd have more luck. Um, I just, I don't know what to say about this clip. It's so strange. One of the most influential figures on the far right is so painfully awkward and, and weird that it's kind of what you'd expect from motherfuckers like this I, I just i don't know what to say i, I honestly am uh, taken aback by this watching this is truly shocking um again this level of cringe should be illegal like I, i'm serious we should ban this level of cringe it's too much for any human being to have to experience so i'm uh, you know totally sorry for putting you through this but i had to share this like i saw it so now you have to see it but i won't be able to unsee this well, I'm having an experience with a woman right now. <laughs> Imagine if he ever was actually with a woman uh, and they were going to sleep together. Like, he'd be like, huh, I see your breasts. Huh, huh, boop. <laughs> like, that's the, that's the kind of person that he would be. I just, it's so, it's like the nerds in the movies. 
like the way that they act, like the caricature of a nerd is how he is in real life. And for a moment, you know, you, you kind of feel bad for him, but then you remember he's a Nazi and you think, no, fuck that guy. But Jesus Christ, I mean, stop being extremely sexist, stop being a Nazi, and maybe you'd be more successful with women and, and stop listening to pickup artists. Like, I think that's pretty, pretty important. So this is going to be the most racist. Whoa! 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 